What's up, YouTube? Salvo G here, and welcome back to another reaction video. Who do we have here today? Well, REO Speedwagon. So this band was suggested during a live stream on, well, last Saturday. By the way, we do live stream every Saturday at 9 p.m. Usually music related so far, at least it has been. And um, yeah, so check that out if you want, Eastern Standard Time. REO Speedwagon. And um, caught my interest. So we're going to check check them out. We're going to listen to Roll with the Changes. And um, I'm going to read real quick a little bit about them. Also, you guys, socials down below in the description. Trying to grow my social media accounts up. Come over there and uh, interact with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you prefer. And uh, also, what else? Yeah, that's it, really. Drop a drop a like on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, whatever you like. Uh, da, 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 da. So this is an interesting interesting album cover. It's uh and the type, yeah. So is the name of the album. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fit. Really, <laughs> really. Uh, all right, 1978. Genre, rock. Um, but the band, when did they form? Well, 1966. Wow. All right. So they're a little bit older than I thought. I figured maybe late 70s, early 80s, but I was way off. The band cultivated a following during the 1970s and achieved significant commercial success throughout the 80s. So they were very popular in the 80s. Best selling album, High Infidelity, 1980, contained four U.S. top 40 hits and sold more than. 10 million copies, that's insane. Over the course of the career, the band has sold more than 40 million and has charted 13 top 40 hits. That's crazy, okay. Yeah, they were the most popular in the late 80s, but they remain a popular live act, and there goes my phone. All right, so, they do a little pop rock, a little soft rock, arena rock. I'm down with that. Looks like they have a pretty broad spectrum this album, however, is from 78, and there's two sides totaling nine songs. This one doesn't have a page for us to check out, so we'll just jump right into it. A little bit on the longer side, five minutes and 36 seconds, but that's okay with me. All right, here we go. Make sure you guys subscribe down below also if you haven't yet. Appreciate you guys. Here we go. Now that is cool. <laughs> he's got a smooth, just, so, so, oh man, he's just got a certain swag. Who is this? Who is this? I, yeah, I'm already pausing it. Yeah, I am. Deal with it. All right. <laughs> Kevin Cronin, lead vocals, backing vocals. Looks like, okay, so he is the main uh, singer here. What else do we got here? Piano, rhythm, guitar, bass, drum. Okay. Synthesizers, perhaps. Oh boy! All right. We're a minute into the song.
I'll be here when you're ready to roll with the changes. If you're tired of the same old story. Okay, I'm starting to like formulate just an idea of what the song would be about. This is great. Listen to his voice. Wow. Don't spoil me. Don't spoil me. <laughs> wow, right into the next one, huh? Okay then. <laughs> well, okay then. Yeah, this this uh that needs to be way more. How is this not more? I mean, this has to be huge. How is this not massive? That doesn't make any. Well, was this a single at all? The hits. Time for me to fly and roll. The changes have since become two of the band's ah oh, best known songs. Ah, oh. the album sold over two million copies in the U.S., which led to it being certified double platinum. The first album to feature Bruce Hall on bass, replacing Greg Philbin, 
In 2013, the album released on CD was released on CD by UK-based company Rock Candy Records with ex, uh, with expanded liner, li, liner notes and photos. Liner notes, sorry. Okay, so this, as time went on, became one of their more popular and best-known songs for good reason. Which is weird because anytime um, I listen to a new band, the first thing I like to do is type in their name on YouTube and then filter by views to see like what are people digging the most, you know? And there are several songs with like way more views than this one. But then it says over here that this song is one of their most better known songs, so I don't know. Either way, that is absolutely massive as far as what the song is about. Uh, it could have been like a, about a girl, you know, I'll be here whenever you're ready to have a deal, roll with the changes, I get it. Um, or it could just be in general, like a more broader theme, just literally roll with the changes, like whatever comes at you, you know, you can get through or do what you want. It's, it's a pretty broad message. Overall, just an amazing song that those two solos back to back He's got an infectious voice. Oh, I really like this. Oh, I really like this. God, Moody Blues. The, the now there's Ario Speedwagon. It's just like so much. What else? Boz. Um, Steely Dan. I want. I need to get back to. Um. There's just so many bands that I need to get back to. Leonard Skinner, I want to get back to. Queen, I want to get back to. Genesis, I want to get back to. Journey, I want to get back to. You guys, we're gonna be here a while. Hope you're hope you're ready. Make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Like I said before, go down below in the description. Come over and join us on one of my social medias. Till next time, I catch you in the next one. Peace.